2023 is upon us, as is my favorite holiday, which is New Year's, by the way. In order to just wrap up the year, I wanted to just create a quick video that can bring you some style inspiration as we head into this next year. So all of the outfits today are gonna have a chic element to them, and then they're gonna have a good mixture of style categories across a range from minimal to feminine to sporty and boho, academia, even some Western and rocker styles that I think you might know that I love to just dabble in once in a while. So I'm gonna be walking you through the correct way to combine all of these different style categories into some really unique and classy looks. Also, I am lucky enough to be creating this video with one of my dream brands, which is Veronica Beard. And when I think of Veronica Beard, my mind immediately goes to their jackets. I feel like they just have a chic selection and I've just always wanted to try a bunch and I finally get the chance to do that. That today. So when they reached out to create this video together, I thought a video featuring the different outfits created with their jackets would be amazing. So they agreed and they sent me over a few to try. So let's just build out a few looks and let's get started. This first look is sporty chic with a bit of an equestrian vibe in my opinion. So I wanted to pair a blazer with a baseball cap, a tee, some tight fitting jeans, and then a heel. So feel free to use that combination when you're just making outfits in the morning. For the baseball cap, it's actually waxed cotton, and so that makes it feel more sporty to me, but not quite casual, since the fabric seems to add just a little bit of some British class that I feel is reminiscent um, with anything waxed like that for the weather. And then the fitted jeans make the blazer feel more on the equestrian side to me, rather than having more of that traditional business feel that a blazer might have. And then the stilettos keep things a little bit more more chic and sophisticated. So I think that a lot of people when they're discovering their style might just think to reserve something like a stiletto to more formal attire, but that's really the fun part about finding your personal style is understanding which pieces make it feel more like you. So Veronica Beard made this Ellet jacket and it's a plaid and then the Carly cake flare jeans are also Veronica Beard. So I thought that the jacket would lend itself very nicely to more of an equestrian feel because of of just its design with the clean cut and the sharp shoulders, as well as the plaid design and the little gold crest buttons along the edges here and in the front. And even it has a slight flare toward the end, which is mimicked by the kick flare jean toward the edge of the hem. It just seems to have that same design and same flare. So up close, the, little, the jacket has these little gold crest buttons on it. And then throughout it, it has some metallic thread that I think is so lovely and unexpected. Let me tell you, it feels good to wear a fedora again. I haven't rocked one since I left Nashville that I can remember. And so this whole look with a fedora, a buttoned up plaid jacket, a pair of some charcoal straight jeans, a pair of some white pointed toe boots, and then just like the whole look with this little uh, sweetheart neckline underneath just makes it feel very boho chic and just a touch of a rocker style. So these boots and jeans and the hat could have been a bit more Western on their own, but with the whole look, I feel like it's a bit more bohemian because of the way that it's styled with the jacket. So in that way, it's a bit more eclectic, like maybe a boho style would be. And so now the jacket on its own is more of this like brownish red plaid, which technically would show up in a Western style, rocker, grunge, or masculine style. And so because of the design itself, this felt very rocker to me. Like someone might wear this outfit on stage, especially with the white boots, which feel a little bit more retro and polished. And so this is the Veronica Beard Miller plaid jacket. And it has just a little bit of a houndstooth print on it um, as a pattern, the way that it's woven. And the colors on it is more or like like plum purples and some browns and like a little bit of this reddish orange. And so all together, I feel like it could be worn from you know September into March. And then the lining inside it makes me really excited to wear it with that pullover underneath because of the lines that just mimic the ribbing on it very well. And so all together, I feel like it's a wonderful look, but that neckline works so well if you are an hourglass shape. And I just feel like it gives a nod to the white elements throughout this outfit. 
Okay, Zach actually bought this moto jacket for me as a Christmas present. It's the Veronica Beard Maria leather moto jacket. And I love it because the distressed leather is just really buttery soft. And then the sleeves are slightly puffed, which is unexpected, and makes something that's more masculine, like a biker jacket, into something that is very uniquely feminine. I also love that it has gold hardware because it's a nice change from this typical like silver hardware that you would normally see on moto most jackets like this. And since the collar is really oversized, I usually wear it popped up a bit in the back. It just seems to add some drama. And I feel like that again, has so much going on here that you might as well do that too. But I have to say that it's a new favorite in the leather jacket collection of mine. As an outfit combination, I'm wearing it with a turtleneck that is maroon and it's lovely too. It has puff sleeves. And then for the jeans, they're just black and straight. So it brings a little bit more of something clean there. And then for my baseball cap, this is very minimal. It's a tweed and the belt is minimal as well. So all together, I thought that it was a lovely look, but I wanted to lift the color scheme by having those white boots. And I feel like that just elongates the leg as well. This next jacket is a statement piece to be sure. It has a lot of more modern and bohemian elements to it. So I would say altogether that this outfit is modern chic with bohemian patchwork. More modern styles seem to have more geometric shapes to them, either by the cut or the embellishments or designs on it, or in this case, both. So the patchwork design is very maximalist on this jacket, which is called the Daryl jacket. And that is a trend that I'm embracing right now. I find it really fun and different and still very timeless. And I love that they even sewed on these little tiny cotton threads into it that feel and look just like fur, but up close it's just cotton threads. And then along here, it's got a lot of beautiful golden clasps on it, which are very unexpected. So underneath, I thought I would dress more simply just to sort of make this the statement. And so I'm working with that pullover that has that sweetheart neckline, some wool trousers, and then the pointed toe boots just seem to mimic the triangular shape that is more in the top. For the baseball cap, I thought that this was in line with the color scheme of this, and it just kept things a little bit more lived in or wearable. Okay, as the base of this outfit, I'm going to revamp the traditional Canadian tuxedo where you've got that denim on denim look. So head to toe, this outfit has a chic academia feel to it because of this navy jacket, the little gold buttons on the jacket, um, there's gold buttons on the shoes as well. And then for the cap, I feel like it also has that academia feel to it, but it also has the addition of some rich, warm brown leather. So I think all together, this is more of an academia chic, but yet it has a touch of Western still. So the jacket I'm using here is the Veronica Beard Miller jacket, and it's got those gold crusted buttons on it, and it has a little bit of a stretch, which just makes it more wearable, I think, for every day. And then underneath, this Sedona top that I'm wearing is also Veronica Beard, and I feel like because of the way that it contours so beautifully, it's sort of putting my other chambray tops to shame. <laughs> but altogether, I feel like the jeans are more of a shade that is in keeping with the chambray of the top. So that's what I like to do if I'm doing a denim on denim look. And then for the cap, I just feel like it mimics that navy in this as well. Okay, this is the showpiece jacket that stole my heart. After trying a bunch of different options for an outfit that I wanted to match it, I felt like a monochrome look would make the most sense because of all the embellishments that are going on. This is a Veronica Beard jacket and I wanted it to be the focal point. So it's got a tuxedo cut, so I decided to pair it with something a bit more formal, which is a wide leg silk cropped pant. And I've had them for a while. Um, I feel like the crop really shows off the edgy boots that are underneath and the shape of the the boots reminds me of the crisp edges that are found on the jacket, especially on the collar. And just to keep things a little bit more simple underneath and also more breathable, I added just a simple black turtleneck underneath and then my ball cap it actually says peace on earth. And so I feel like that's a bit more of a holiday theme for this time of year. But altogether, I would call this minimal chic with a high runway vibe. Minimal due to the clean lines and the monochrome look. And yet it's high runway in my mind due to all of the heavy beating that I feel would be seen on a runway. For a day where I'm going to be out in the park on a winter's day, this is definitely what I would wear. 
I would call it casual chic with just a touch of Western to it. Head to toe, it's a brown turtleneck with some dark straight jeans, some white boots, and then a tweed baseball cap, and then a thick plaid jacket. So this is the Jadis jacket, and it is so consoling to me. I love all the snaps that it has and the flap pockets. I love it because the flap pockets are a bit like a chore coat. Um, and then the funnel neck is a beautiful collar that I feel like will really keep the cold wind out. And then it's just got these chunky cuffs to it that will like keep your wrists really warm and your arms warm. And I feel like the Italian wool just keeps things very classy and so chic and yet the thick plaid design looks more casual like something I might find in a Western style. So as you can tell, you can take a style category like chic and you can move it in any direction that feels a lot more natural to you just as you're experimenting with your personal style. And thank you to Veronica Beard for letting me experience a new level of luxury. I feel like each one of these outfits made me feel truly regal and like a rock star even though I've been a little bit under the weather, if you can't tell. Um, my voice is a little bit off compared to normal. But if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.